everyone welcome back to my channel uh, I am in my car today and we're heading to Aldi um, we were away for a week on a family vacation and the fridge is empty <laughs> there's nothing uh, at our house so um, I'm heading to Aldi and I will see you guys in a little bit I will show you what I was able to find today Okay, we're done. I have all my bags in here. Can't wait to show you what I found today. Hello everyone. Okay, I'm back home. <sighs> this is what um, a week worth of food from Aldi's looks like for a, for a family of four. Um, obviously, you know, some things will last us longer and um, I make a couple of meals, a couple of dinners. Um, so yeah, let me show you what I was able to find in all these today. Um, very exciting. All this and a little bit here. Uh, this was around $180. So I think this is uh, pretty good for a family of four. And we have produce, we have meats, we have, uh, you know, the snacks and cereal and milk and um, breads and eggs. So let me start from here and I will show you what I got today. All right, so uh, this is the hot dogs bun. I get them probably every time I go um, along with the hot dogs. They're easy, they're just a quick lunch. Uh, put them on the grill or you can just broil them. Um, and it's just a very easy lunch to put together for the kids now that they're home um, from school for the summer. Then we have the Italian premium bread. Uh, this is great for sandwiches. My kids really like them with Nutella. Um, which I don't buy from um, Aldi. I don't like their uh, hazelnut spread version of Nutella there. I like the real, we all like the real Nutella, so I, I buy that from somewhere else. Um, all right, we have the flour tortillas. I use this for, um, we make tacos or little burritos. Um, love this ice cream. Try to get the minis this time because the big ones are, um, you know, they're big and they're high in calories and, and the kids eat them a lot. So I figured get the mini variety ones. And uh, one of them is what, 130 calories. So pretty, pretty good. Um, and also got this uh, Snickers ice cream. And uh, hold on just one second. <laughs> Excuse me, my little puppy wants to go outside, use the potty. All right, um, where are we? All right, so I got these Snickers ice cream bars never had them before from Aldi so we'll see I am sure they're really good I mean how bad can sneakers ice cream bad um ice cream bars be really right uh and then I've never I've never tried this before I tried the Fremont Fresh Market um turkey not turkey salmon burgers I in my last video which I actually I will link my previous uh Aldi haul here or in the description below you can see what I was able to get two weeks ago when I went to Aldi's um, these are oven ready five crab cakes. Um, I'm excited to try those. Um, they don't look that bad uh, nutrition wise. So we'll see. We'll see how they are. Um, mozzarella cheese sticks. We uh, bought a um, a couple months ago maybe um, air fryer. So I try to look for things that I can put in the air fryer. Um, they're easy, it's fast, there's no oil, and kids really, really love air fryer. Um, you know, kind of like a finger food. So I really enjoy it, and it's fast for me, obviously, so it's it's a win-win, right? Uh, okay, I got this boneless pork shoulder roast. I actually baked this. I guess you could put it in a barbecue, uh, and it's also barbecue flavored, but I roast this in the oven or bake it in the oven for whatever the instruction is here on the back of this um yeah you bake it covered for three hours or you could put it in the in the slow cooker i haven't tried it in the slow cooker i'm sure it's going to be great um, but baking it in the oven this is wonderful and actually you can shred it and put it on your tortillas excuse me um mozzarella the fresh mozzarella cheese slices love those uh, we made a little caprese salad with uh, sliced tomatoes and basil and um, a little bit of um, um, vinegar on top, drizzle. Um, got eggs, 
two two um, packs of dolls. And then for the meats, I got the fresh ground turkey. And then I have the ground beef. A lot of lots of chicken this time. I have um, chicken breast, a three pack here, and I have another one underneath. And then the thin sliced a boneless skinless chicken breast. Oh, we love those. I um, put them um, in a flour, a mixture of flour, then dip them in egg, and then just kind of saute them, fry them in the pan. It's really delicious. My kids really like it. Um, I have um, whipped cream cheese spread for uh, bagels or even like toast. We really like that. I have uh, diced tomatoes. A can of diced tomatoes here those are uh, basil garlic and oregano love those i actually really like um diced tomatoes with um green beans uh, so i have green beans in the freezer so i'm gonna um just do a quick little side dish with those have crispy circles these are the seasoned shredded potatoes from seasons choice i figured this would be great also in the um air fryer and along with that, I got the chicken breast fillets, which I get every single time. These are great for chicken sandwiches. Um, and we put them in uh, between a bun um, and, you know, lettuce, tomato, the works. It's really, really good. Uh, of course, we also do it in the air fryer. It is so easy. Um, really, really like those honey crisp apples. They look really, really good today. So I got a whole um, bag of those. Then right here, I have the pure canola oil. I cook with um, extra virgin olive oil or light olive oil uh, usually, but um, or for salads or things that are raw, but for um, just frying chicken or anything like that, um, I use the pure canola oil. Um, have Italian style shredded cheese. We have the mozzarella slices. And I told you guys last time, my kids really like um, salami. So that's the hard salami and the mozzarella um, cheese slices that we use for sandwiches. Uh, shells and cheese, mac and cheese. Um, to be honest with you, I don't <laughs> love buying those. And I don't love making those. But um, just from nutritional value, I don't really feel that they're obviously the best thing with the packaged cheese. But... They're fast and easy. My kids really like them with the hot dogs and just cut up hot dogs and just saute the hot dogs and then you cook the shells and cheese. And I think I promised you guys next last time that I will make, um, I will probably show you how to do it one day, but it's just a quick and easy lunch idea. Um, they don't eat it often. So I figured, you know, once every couple of weeks, it's not gonna kill them, right? <laughs> um, then uh, we have the holy guacamole, avocado verde. I've never uh, gotten this before. My son really likes, uh, and my husband, avocados. I don't. I'm probably the only person in the world at this point that does not like avocado, but I just don't like the texture of it. Um, but I know that they would love that with chips. And um, so we'll, we'll try and see how it is. Then, of course, I get this every single time. love these cherry tomatoes. They're so sweet. Um, nature sweet cherry tomatoes. Um, I love them as snacks, just as a little put it in the salads. Really like those. As always, get my uh, vine tomatoes, um, which are perfect for that mozzarella slices. I showed you where they right here. And then two kinds of lettuce. They didn't have a lot of lettuce for some reason this time. So I have the organic, Josie's organic um lettuce hearts of romaine lettuce right here for salads and also i have this whole uh those lettuce so i got this one then these little guys are mini cucumbers and they're perfect for just crunching on them or just like you see here in the picture you could dip them in uh, whatever your favorite sauce is these are wonderful for snacking just for a quick just grab and go kind of thing i have two uh two packs of this three color i guess this time they're two color usually the third one is orange um three colors two colors um peppers have the baby bella um mushrooms I'm gonna um, put them probably in a stir fry with the peppers. 
And then I have this uh, fully cooked bacon. Uh, my kids love bacon. Uh, I just don't like cooking it with all the grease and um, the mess. But these, uh, this is ready to go. So all you do is microwave them. I uh, got the classic coleslaw, which I probably do every single time because it's really, really nice with, um, with ground turkey or ground chicken, even ground beef, I think. Um, and you just saute everything with a little bit of olive oil and put some spices and a little soy sauce. And it's um, really, really nice stir fry, kind of like an egg roll, but a naked egg roll. So it's healthier for you. It's good for you. Better for you, I guess. I got my zucchinis, which I love zucchinis. Uh, these are Freshire Farms zucchini, the baby carrots, perfect for snacking as well. Spinach, I always get a bag of spinach, They're a little squished because unfortunately I put them all the way on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, a bag of spinach, put them in everything, put them in salads, put them in, in meals. Um, two regular sized cucumbers, I figured for a probably a Greek salad with the tomatoes. I got uh, this white rice, uh, which I mainly, we mainly do that for a quick rice bowl. I uh, cook it in the rice cooker and then chicken and some veggies and just a quick um, rice bowl dinner that everybody in our family likes. Then I got the uh, four cheese Alfredo from Priano. I like that brand. It's, uh, they're, they're actually very delicious, this sauce. And I do it with, uh, I cook it with um, chicken some sauteed or barbecue chicken or grilled chicken and some pasta then we make our own alfredo chicken alfredo um then i got the tomato basil and garlic pasta sauce not sure what i'm gonna do with it yet but you know we'll figure it out <laughs> um couple of snacks here for the kids really like these pretzel rods um just kind of grab and go big pretzels and then the goldfish the regular cheddar goldfish their favorite cereal from Aldi is this Honey Crunch and Oats uh, cereal. We got, we buy this every single time. Everyone in my household likes this one. And then I've seen this before uh, and I thought I would give it a try. It's a beach dessert kit, a jello plate. So everything you kind of see here to build these um, cups uh, is included. All you need to do is add milk. So I figured it's going to be a fun, um, like an afternoon activity for them, perhaps to do dessert for uh, for dinner or after dinner. Love this Hello Panda chocolate. I'm not sure if you guys had them before. I highly recommend them. They're these little, little tiny cookies that when you bite into them, they have a chocolate cream in the middle. Uh, really nice. And there are eight bags in this. So I figured, you know, grab and go kind of thing when we're running to practice or, or any of the sports that the kids are into. I think I buy this every single time, so I recommend those. They're very nice. They're 100 calorie cookie snacks. They have them, I think they only have them in um, this chocolate, and then they have them in the um, um, chocolate chip option, and we like them both. And they're only 100 calories, so they're, they're um, really good, and they're not that bad for us. And then I'm going to bring this milk here. I have this strawberry kiwi juice i don't buy juice often um from once in a while i, will, I buy for the kids but we mainly drink water um and now my daughter is into baking so i got her this classic yellow cake mix with the cream cheese icing so it's one of her summer projects summer little hobbies now that she's off from school to bake and make desserts for us. So I love it and she loves it. And uh, they had a couple of different uh, options of, you know, of this. I just got the sponge sided holder, double sided holder. Um, they also had a sponge side and kind of a soap or dispenser or soap dish dispenser, which I didn't need, but I thought this is neat and kind of keeps uh, the whole kind of keep it from, you know, I guess, wet being wet the whole time and it's going to help it dry faster so we'll see we'll see how i like this and then on this side i'm defrosting actually some um beef for tonight for dinner um and this here we have my um coffee which i told you last time this medium roast and sweet and iced coffee cold brew i really really enjoy this one it's only 15 calories and um uh, for an eight or actually no 12 ounces and it's really really good it's a medium roast i've had the dark roast it's also really good it's just obviously a little stronger so 
Um, and then I have the almond milk, the vanilla, 30 calories. This is really good. It's unsweetened, so you have to sweeten it with something if you prefer your coffee a little sweetened. And I use a uh, sugar-free sweetener, uh, creamer. And then I have the 1% low-fat milk for um, the rest of the family. I Right here, I have some household items. Not a lot this time. I just had some antibacterial hand soap, which was a huge, giant... A refill tub and I believe it was three dollars so um, I got that have the tight simply clean and fresh and then we have the Dawn liquid dish soap and then I love this fantastic for the stove top or for any countertops it's a disinfectant multi-purpose cleaner and usually I found these in Target or Walmart and it's around $44, I want to say. And this one was only $2 in my Aldi. So I thought I'd grab one. Um, yeah, so this is all I got from Aldi. Um, as I said at the beginning of my video, all this is for close to approximately $180. Uh, this is pretty good for us. It's We're a family of four, uh, one teenager <laughs> uh, who is hungry all the time. Um, so this this should last us, you know, a week, I would say. Uh, please uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, I will link my previous video from, from a couple of weeks ago if you're interested. And I thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!